Fascinated not only by the beauty of their voices, but also by the range of their power. And Marilyn Horn is considered supreme in all three departments. In fact, a recent article in the New York Times called her the greatest mezzo-soprano in the history of the Metropolitan Opera. And the leading opera magazine said Marilyn Horn is probably the greatest singer in the world. Hers is a 30-year career still at its height, and there is a new book that tells all. Marilyn Horn, My Life. She's with us this morning. Thank you morning. so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, Marilyn Horn, a lot of people think that opera singers are not ordinary people, that, they're hardly, uh, that they hardly grew up in a normal American home. Where did you grow up? I grew up in a... Uh, partway uh, till almost 12 years old in a small town in Pennsylvania called Bradford, a very normal uh, town except that it gets uh, one of the great amounts of snow <laughs> in the country. Um, a musical family? Yes, all the, in, all the cousins, aunts and uncles, everyone are amateur singers, musicians, everybody belonged to some kind of an organization, a church or a barbershop quartet or whatever. And my father particularly was a semi-professional singer with a gorgeous voice. When was the first time that you sang publicly? Well, what they say is that I was four and I have a, I have a little recollection of it. It was a picnic for the re-election of FDR and I remember that my uh, payment was a bottle of lime soda pop. <laughs> and I sang, believe me, if all those endearing young charms, and I thought they were little charms candies <laughs> that I was singing about. <laughs> then, let's see, you moved to Hollywood as a teenager. I moved to Long Beach, actually, oh. and uh, lived in Long Beach. I grew up there the rest of the way. And, but of course, being in proximity to Hollywood, then I also did a lot of singing in Los Angeles and Hollywood. What did you do? Did a lot of background music for films. The first one I was in, I think I was 11 years old, was the famous uh, St. Joan that Ingrid Bergman did. And I remember I had to have a special permit because you had to be 12 to be in the Screen Actors Guild. And um, all kinds of doo -wahs and background things like that. The sort of the, the climax of those years was uh, dubbing the voice of Dorothy Dandridge in the film Carmen Jones uh -huh. when I was 20 years old. Now, most people know that you must have an exquisite voice for opera, but you also need a, a personality trait. What is that? Well, you certainly need um, tremendous discipline. I, they, I, I think it's one of the most disciplined professions that, that one could possibly select. Actually, it doesn't, you don't select it, it selects you. You have to be really born with a voice first. You can't suddenly go to a teacher and say, I want to sing. You've got to have the instrument first. But you also need a tremendous amount of, of um, will to want to get ahead, drive, all of, all of those prerequisites, and about 3,000 others. <laughs> Had you ever considered going into any other type of music? Well, at a time, I suppose I, I toyed with the idea of singing pop music. And back in my day, um, I could sing pop music. I, I could still sing my kind of pop music. Rock is out of the question. I have an 18-year-old daughter. And if I ever start humming anything that resembles her generation, she just roars out loud. <laughs> what do you listen to? Um, well, if I listen to anything, I listen to classical music. You yeah. do. Most of the time, I don't have time because I'm usually working, usually studying. I'm rarely without a piece of music in my hand that I'm not trying to either memorize the words or for re-familiarize myself with the music. What are your favorite pop stars currently? I mean, if you were to listen to it other than what you listen well, to. Well, I happen to uh, really adore Lena Horne and Barbara Streisand. I think these are two consummate singers and uh, they, I just, um, for me they're it. All right. Marilyn Not Horn. that there aren't a lot of others, but sure. those two I single out. Well, for a lot of other people, you are it. And we thank you so much for being with us. We didn't, you know, there are many, many uh, secrets that you told in your book that I guess we can't tell here on morning television. Well, then we have They'll to read the to book, read. <laughs> right? <laughs> thank you, Marilyn Horn, for being with us. My it's pleasure. a real honor. Thank you. In a moment, a Christmas catalog that includes some gifts.